What's going on, everybody? See here. Welcome back to Tectonica. So last episode, we got our plant stuff going. Um, it is automated. It's doing things, doing stuff. It's amazing. But this episode, we've got to get our iron and copper going here because like, that's like the core resources and we haven't even messed with this. So we're going to work on that today. Hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do like, subscribe, all the fun things. And without further ado, let's get on into it. So what I want to start here is I actually want to start with some floors to basically clean this area up here. Perfect. Okay. And then what I want to do is we're going to go grab our smelters that we have over here. We're going to just smelt and mine in the same area because I'm pretty sure all the ore has to be uh, smelted anyways. So there's really no reason to like have that in a separate area. We'll uh, we'll just move out the the final product, the, the smelted bars, and then kind of go from there. Um, and then what we can do is then I can just... I wonder if I can place these like that and just do this like directly into there i might be able to let's actually let's inspect let's try this here um let's put 250 in there put 250 in there is that going to automatically do that mining No, it doesn't look like that works. So it looks like we almost have to have a belt. Oh, you know what? Do I have this the wrong way? Hold on. I might've actually had that the wrong way. And you know what? We don't need fast ones either. We can use slow ones. Okay. So that one goes out. Are you not mining anything? Oh, it's not mining anything. Hold on a second. It's not actually mining anything. Okay, so let's try this one instead. Mining. Okay, so there we go. All right, so let's try this. Put that there. It's waiting for a machine. Put that in there. Puts it in there. Grab this, put that in there. So that can okay so that can directly feed it awesome okay so let's go ahead and let's do same thing here in there let's go ahead and grab half a stack let's grab half a stack throw those in there so yeah that miner was not able to mine this so we might need to pull it forward a little bit okay that makes sense it makes sense okay so now over here let's go ahead and let's get a uh, let's get a couple crates made we're gonna get one storage crate made for iron and then we can move it out as needed so let's go ahead and just grab this guy let's see let's leave one space we'll throw that there and then we'll go ahead and get a belt Uh, running all the way to here and then we'll do a um, this will be a fast fast one and then a regular one on those okay so now we have iron being made okay cool so now let's go mess with Let's go mess with the copper. Let's, let, let's basically do the same thing with copper and then we're gonna look at the assemblers and see what we have to assemble because if we have to build, okay, so we've got these already being made. Are we gonna have to seriously build all of these? And look at all the different materials that it takes. So like that just takes plant matter. That takes um, plant matter, iron, iron, copper, copper, iron components and copper so like there's some tier ones and some tier twos in there some items require one some items items that require two um let's go and take that take all those and let's go over here to the copper area okay so i cleared out the floor here we we still have a lot of floating grass and stuff but you know it is what it is it's all right so let's grab our smelters uh you know what maybe we should go ahead and test that these are actually going to work before we actually hook them all up no see that one's not gonna work so let's go ahead and inspect this one okay so that one's good let's 
This one is not good. Which is interesting. Maybe it just needs to be forward one. You know, it's weird because it, it looks like that should work because there's like green dots on it. But it's not. It's not. It looks like it's working. Yeah, no, this one's not working. It's just kind of weird because um, when I pull up this, you can see, see where it shows like green dots and stuff. That to me would make me think that it would be capable of doing. Oh. Wait, maybe it takes a minute. Maybe it just clear, has to clear it out. How about now? Hey, there we go. Okay. So that makes me think, well, if that maybe just had to clear it out a little bit, maybe we need to, um, if I utilize this and do that and then put it in here, wonder if that'll work. I don't know. Okay. Uh, so we need to get some smelters set up here. Let's go ahead and get, get those. Okay. So I had to kind of finagle these a little bit differently because of like the positioning's a little bit different. So they're not completely lined up. But that's that's okay. They'll be fine. Um, actually, you know, what? I could probably. No, I can't really run that one forward. That's okay. We'll get this figured out with the with the belts here. So, those are getting done. So let's go ahead and let's get copper being stored. Like right there, and then we'll just run a belt. Uh, we'll run a belt like that, and then we can just put one there like that. That'll work. That can go there. That can go there. Let's get a faster, fast one for there. And then we got to get fuel for those. So let's go see. If, let's go see how our plant stuff's doing. Oh, look at that. 250. Look at that. Easy peasy. Okay. I keep forgetting about the hover thing. Like, it's so weird. I don't know. I don't know why. All right. So we'll throw those in there. Okay, so now we have iron and copper being made. Fantastic. Now we need to do the assembly stuff. Where do I want to do the assembly stuff? This might actually turn into more plant stuff. So, uh, it probably will turn into more plant stuff, actually, because that 250 did not last very long. You know what? Let's go ahead and get another thresher in here. I have another one anyways. So, let's set that... How do I want this? We'll set it like that. And then... We'll throw that one in there. And then we need filters. In order to run these how we need to go. Now we need to get back over here to the seed line. Which is right here. We could go up and over actually. That is actually what we'll do. We'll just go ahead and go up and over. Um, I don't know if this part's right here is going to work, but we're going to test it. <laughs> so basically, I just ran that up and over. This is going to be the seed line. No. Bad. Okay, so we're going to do that because connecting right here is kind of a kind of a trick. Um, so let's go ahead. Let's see if I can even make any of these things. Nope. I need processor unit which means i need probably i need some copper and oh i need some plant matter that's what i need all right so we'll run this here inspect it do this uh, this is going to be seeds and then for this guy we're just going to run it straight out into here i think uh, and then this one's going to be plant matter perfect okay okay there we go. We got two of them. Um, I'm actually curious to see if this seed side is going to work here. This. I don't know that that's going to work. Um, we could always actually... Oh, I'm a dummy. could just do that and then just delete that and that. You know, I forget how inserters work um, sometimes. And how handy they can actually be. Because once the seed... Oh, you know what though? That's not going to allow us to store any... 
because our storage is on that side. Well, that's okay. It'll be fine. So that's going to go off there, over there, and onto that belt. Yeah, that works. That works fine. Okay, so now we need to figure out where our assembly stuff is going to go. So let's look at, let's put a, place an assembly machine down. Then let's look at it here. Okay, so we can, oh my gosh. We essentially need an assembly machine for all of those. <laughs> Okay, so looking at this guy, um, I think I want to make 10. I want to make everything up from here to here. And that is because everything basically from here on requires some kind of these components to make. And those are like craftable, buildable items. Um, so I don't want to focus on those right now. But I do want to focus on getting, you know, all of this stuff being made, which is going to be a trick in itself. <sighs> oh, because like ironing is we're gonna, so we're going to have to start splitting is there is there a splitter option is there i don't even know if there was a inserter tool belt let's activate that i don't know what that does increases number of row tool belts by two. Oh, that's nice okay i wonder if there's like a, some kind of splitter up here so <laughs> there's no splitter which means that we're gonna have to I'm trying to think if there's like a way to equalize a belt using inserters because if not it's going to always prioritize one or the other i mean the only way the only way that i could see this happening is we would have to have essentially a mine going to a machine going directly to one of those items because i don't have a way to like split these hmm Ooh, also, I just realized power floor is not actually powered out here anymore. So it looks like there's also a range on possibly some power that is being generated. Hmm. Okay, we're going to have to figure this out. We need a huge area to do this. You know what? We're going to do a little bit of testing here. We're going to test if I have about that way that way and that way and then i run a belt into those okay so that makes a box does that then become a splitter that's what i'm actually kind of curious about um let's do this let's run this up to there because this is uh this has some plant matter in so what i want to do is i want to go ahead and run oh shoot how do i change my toolbar oh okay so secondary toolbar you can shift and scroll wheel okay so let's try this out here i, I just wanted to see how that worked um let's grab our fast things let's throw those there now how does this work okay one there one there one there it is a splitter it is making a splitter. It's automatically splitting it equally between the rows. Okay. That is good to know. Okay, so I came up with an idea. I think what we're going to focus on right now is we're going to focus on the smelters for the iron stuff. So let's go ahead and place a smelter down. That is not a smelter. That's not what I wanted. This guy. If I place this down, there are one, two three technically because it requires iron but there's one two three four there's four things that do require iron now some of these do require copper and stuff so i want to focus on let's let's focus on getting these two first ones made um because they're gonna be easy one ironing get four ironing it's it's like nothing crazy you know super easy so that'll work um i do need to go ahead and build a bunch more floors though like we need a lot more floors um 880 let's do that I'm going to sit here and wait for those to get made. Actually, you know what? No, hold on. Cancel that. Because if I just go and grab some iron, it'll be way faster. Okay, so we got a bunch of foundations down, powered foundations. Now, let's go ahead and let's get our two machines in here that we are going to actively use for iron. Now, we do need to have these split. So let's place one there. 
And let's place one there. Okay, so that's not terrible. I mean, it is starting to encroach on my other stuff a little bit, but I think it'll be okay for now. So we're going to have iron running up into here, and then we're going to need a split. Okay, so there's going to be our splitter. So let's go ahead and run these into there. That should make those an equal split. Perfect. Okay, so now what I want to do is we only need two right now, but I am going to need uh, more for other things. So I want to have this line over here. I mean, we could split half. We could do a half split for these two and then a half split for the next two. That might actually work out a little bit better for us. Okay, so what I have it here is we have a half split here. So it's going to split half of it this way and half of it this way. And then this is just going to go back behind here. So then it will split a half again for this machine and this machine. Okay, so that'll work probably a little bit better. Then we can throw a inserter there, inserter there. And then when we do the other ones, we can throw those in here and then we'll have some iron ingots for those as well. Now, what we want for these, let's go ahead and check this out. We want uh, iron frame and iron components. Now, I know the components are going to be done a lot faster because it's a four to one split. I could actually probably put a third split on here and run it into this line as well, but I don't want to get into efficiency yet. I kind of just want to get into, you know, a, a core like layout and then we could always play with efficiency later and just like you know i want to get it made right now <laughs> so let's get some belts in here um we're just gonna go from this one basically to there we're gonna go ahead and go down here and then go this way can't even see anything. I kind of wish the stuff would go away a little bit faster. Uh, can I like, do I need to, do I need to do one of the, uh, this move right here? Yeah. See, it won't let me. Ah, so annoying. Okay. Um, let's see. Do I have foundations? Okay, let's get some foundations in here. That might clear out some of this stuff. <laughs> kind of. Uh, kind of cleared out some of it. I still can't see what the heck's going on here. Um, okay, now I can. Okay, I don't think that one is the right way, though. Okay, so that looks good. That should go into there. Let's go ahead and get our splitter over here or our uh, inserter set up. We'll do a quick inserter on this one. And then those are set up. So those should be good. Let's go ahead and see how this works here. Okay. So there's our iron bars. I want to make sure one's going that way and one's going this way. So we have our 50-50 split to start. One there. One there. Okay, cool. And then one there. And then the next one should go this way. Perfect. Okay. So that actually works out. Okay, so splitters, there's no actual splitters. Um, it's just kind of how you base, like how you build your belts. Which I gotta say, I actually, I actually kind of like that because you don't have to worry about unlocking splitters. You don't have to worry about like, you know, um, having like an overflow thing. Cause like your splitter is going to be your overflow. So I, I like that. I like that. Okay. Output input. Oh, I like that. It shows you that right there. Input two, output one, input two, output is full missing ingredients. Yep. Okay. So now I need to get storage on those two. And this is where things are going to start getting huge is because if we have a storage box for each one of these things, it's going to cause some issues with the, <laughs> with everything. So let's just go ahead and run 
storage directly into there, and then let's go ahead and make another storage unit. And then run this one directly into there. That can be a slow, uh, slow insert. It doesn't really matter. And then slow insert on that one. Okay, so now we've got two of our steel items being automated, which is good. So we've got some in there. We've got some in there. Um, that's all fine and dandy, but we got a lot more to make. <laughs> so we also have some copper stuff as well. Let me go ahead and set down another one of these so I can like look at it. So we also have plant matter. So we've got those two taken care of. So frames and copper components and wire. So there's three copper ones that we could get set up. Now, I'm kind of curious how we're going to do this because, oh, it looks like it's all powered now. Yeah, I have no idea. Because these don't look like they have power on them. So what I'm thinking is that we'll probably do the same thing, but like over here, let's go and get some foundations laid down. And can I get rid of this? Perfect. We have a giant tree in the way too, but <laughs> it is what it is. Okay, so there's all the foundations. I wonder if it takes a second for them to get powered. Because, like, these don't have the blue on it. The blue makes me think that it's, like, actually powered up, you know? So, okay. Now, let's get some more of these guys in here. I think I'm going to set them up the same way I did over there. So let's do that one there. Five assemblers. Keep going. That's three. Okay, so there's our copper. Now we're gonna have to divide it again. We're gonna have to do the splitting again because there's other things that require copper, right? Um, yeah, so like that requires copper, that requires copper. Uh let's see what else required copper. Actually, nothing else required copper. That one, one, two, three, four, five. So there's five things that require copper. So let's get this set up. We'll do a 50-50 split. And then, actually, you know what? We'll do a third. We'll do um, two thirds going to these machines and then one third going to whatever else machines that we need. So we've got to figure out how to bring this in here though and do this. Okay, so here's what I came up with rid of that one put this one there this is going to give us our two-thirds so basically right here this one splits um you know one goes in and then one there one there one there one there one there one there so on and so forth so two-thirds is actually going around into this belt and one-third going into this belt um so what i want to do oh i probably should have did that the other way no nah, it's fine so then we could run this over here. And then from there, I need to split it up into thirds again. So we'll have one just go right into that machine. One there and one there. So that'll work there. That'll go into that one. And then this one, let's go ahead and bring it over one that way. Keep going. Like that. And then for this one, we'll go ahead and run this. That way, we we'll try to bring it down close to it. All right, there we go. And then we can go ahead and run this to there, that to there, and then that to there. We can go ahead and select the first three things. So we got the frame, we've got the components, and we've got the wire. 
So now all we need to do is basically bring this copper over to here. Now, let's see. I'm going to try to hook these up like this. This is going to be interesting. I think I have to get rid of those. Go to there. And then go to there. Okay. So that should give us copper. Let's go ahead and put a, uh, a fast one on there. Now, that might not be enough. But that'll be okay for now. Oh, shoot. Um, oh, you guys are out of fuel, aren't you? Perfect. Okay. So now the copper's going over here. One third's going to go that way. And then two thirds is over here. Now this one third's not going anywhere right now. That's fine. So let's see. Is this working? Yep. Yep. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's working. Okay. Uh, you know, trying to figure out these like numbers and like dividing things. It's just, it's always interesting. So now I need, um, I need to go ahead and get three more containers and get things getting sorted. And then how are these looking? That's looking pretty good. I feel like we need more seeds. I feel like our seeds are just not doing too hot. And it's because we're not keeping up with the demand. Um, like these aren't getting processed. Honestly, I need more, I need more threshers going. Okay. So let's get these all set up here. That one can go there. That one can go there. Oh, you know what? Oh no, I did do that right. No, I didn't. It needs to be one closer. There we go. Now we can go ahead and set these up. And we've got automation. We've got some beginner materials being made. Five assemblers. Now, in order for us to hit the next tier stuff, we need uh, mining drills, 70 drills, 70 smelters, 2,000 conveyor belts, 1,000 inserters, and 1,000 processor units. So, uh, yeah, we're going to be working on those for a little bit. But there we go. We got some uh, We got some of that stuff going. Oh, super exciting stuff. I'm enjoying this so far. Um, I'm having a good time. Uh, let me leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what uh, what you're thinking so far. I'm curious to see like how the story stuff's gonna go, like come along because uh, like there is some kind of story to it. But uh, again, it's like it's kind of one of those games where it's like there can't be too much story. Otherwise, like um, I mean, I guess there can be. It just has to be like related to your your the amount of factory stuff you're doing. Also, we actually have a lot of exploration left to do too. Like I don't think we ever went down in there. So yeah, there are all kinds of fun things to do. And I can't wait, basically this, this whole river right here is probably gonna end up being like some kind of super highway for materials and stuff, but you know, we'll get there. We got, we gotta, we gotta take the steps. We gotta take the baby steps first, but thanks again for coming out. Have a wonderful day. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye everybody.